Okay, let's go ahead and get started there, everybody. Welcome back to another uh, Final Fantasy stream. I'm your host, Strange Bro Jim. And we're going to continue where we left off last time. We didn't get very far. Um, I got really, for some reason, I was like, really tired last time, so I didn't really get uh, too far in the gameplay. Um, now, uh, to, to men, you know, to let everybody know, okay, if you're, if you're not already aware, uh, this is my second attempt on trying to get through, well, I guess it's more, well, okay. Um, I played this a lot when I was younger, when, uh, it was on PlayStation and stuff like that, uh, but, um, you know, I haven't played it since. Um, so, you know, a little while ago, I started it up. Uh, figured I wanted, you know, I want, I wanted to play it again. It's been a long time. Um, and with the remake that's out there, I was like, on, well, you know, I really had a strong desire to play it again. Uh, however, that first attempt failed. Um, the um, the, as soon as I got to the Golden Saucer, um, the, uh, the game just started, like, crashing on me. I could not get it to run at all with, um, you know, with my settings, and, um, uh, I couldn't get it to run. Um, you know, I informed uh, Squaresoft about the issue, and then I didn't play it for a while. Uh, you know, I come back last week, or a couple of weeks ago, uh, trying to see, you know, like, hey, I, you know, let's let's get back into it. Let's go back to the Golden Saucer and start right back over again. You know, we'll, we'll start from there. But, um, my save files are gone. They're just gone. And I'm like, okay, not quite sure what happened there. So, um, last week I started, you know, completely, oof. Gotta turn down my volume there. Um, I, um, started a brand new complete brand new game you know complete from scratch you know uh so uh we're gonna try to work on getting to the point of um um you know so that we can you know get through the entire game, you know, um, uh, now there's probably going to be a lot of grinding at parts, so there's going to be probably a lot of, uh, moments where it's like, you know, just me going around in a circle, just fighting a whole bunch of mob and monsters just so I can get the materia and levels of everybody up. Uh, but, um, now if, if you want to, you're welcome to check out the, my first attempt on the Final Fantasy, well, not the first attempt, of uh, the, you know, me playing it again. You know, I have it up on my playlist, so it's, it's available if anybody wants to watch that. But obviously, you know, as as I already mentioned, that save file is gone. There's no way for me to get it back. So, I mean, it's gonna end at a dead end. So, that you know, I will leave that choice up to you. Okay. So, um, so I might need to move these Final Fantasy videos over to a different playlist, actually, now that I think about it. Just to make things a little bit easier on everybody, and they know 
you know, what the issue was. So, um, but yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the game there, everybody. Now, this time around, I went ahead and um, um, I'm trying to do the cloud save. I don't know how reliable that's going to be. Uh, you know, already it's showing the fact that, you know, I have the two saves here, which is good. You know, um, that's that's correct. But, you know. Okay. Uh, don't really need to talk with any of the folks here. Oh. There we go. Now, I don't think there's really anything else here for me. So, we got... Um, We got everything pretty much set, so I don't really need to worry about anything there for the most part, so... that so that we have lightning for all and then we'll give ice to uh, Barrett here there we go okay and I think that's about as much as we can really do here for the most part so used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Haha, uh, -ha, I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Uh, when, you had a, when you had a child before, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything here, per se, so... If there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gospel on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I don't care. I get a little bit more information that would pique even your interest. You wouldn't see? Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, uh, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely old guy when I'm not drinking. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else except for the little kid over here, so let me talk with him. When it comes down to it, I'm gutless. I'm still no good kid. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We're off to the train station. Don't need to save it right at the moment. 
don't need to talk to those guys, they're just gonna keep on repeating the exact same thing over and over and over again, so... I've had it. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes. And then the collapse. Poor folks. They just... They, they, they just got so tired, I guess. Staying up all night. <laughs> oh, there they go. Morning. Dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back again here. Sounds good. Let's go. Yo! Okay, so... I think the first attempt that I tried uh, on this... Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's a way f for you to kind of get, like, uh, multiple things on the train trip in this, um, like, if you, if you talk with a couple people on the train, um, you'll be able to kind of get a few, uh, a few items, so... Uh, let's see, yeah, the tip, you know, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned here, you may not want to stop and talk to other passengers during the lockdown, but doing so will get you a few, a few goodies. You must be quick, so make sure your message tech speed is set to fast as possible. In the first car, talk to the bum lying in the seat. In the back of the car, he'll give you a phoenix down. In the second car, talk to the guy closest to the front of the car, he'll give you a high phoenix. In the third car, a guy walking in the opposite direction will sometimes steal something from you. If you run after him, you can force him to give it back, but this takes quite a bit of time. The fifth car, your final destination, has no hidden items. So, um, so really the only thing that you that you're really going to be needing on the train is the Phoenix Town and the High Potion. And that's it. So, so if you get both of those, then you're good to go. So, um, this ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, I just don't have, uh, don't I just have all the luck? You say something? I said, you say something? Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's empty because of guys like you. Yipes! You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. Bear it. <laughs> Fuck. You lucky son of a bitch. So what are we gonna do now? Shit. The hell are you? Nah, you so calm. You busting up my rhythm. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Ha, listen to Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an IV scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. Can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Midgard Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. 
All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Okay. Right. Before we do that, we're going to make sure that our tech speed is indeed set to fast. There we go. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Hmm. You're the only ones that talk to me and come to my house. I'm impressed. Yo, Mr. Know-it-all, big time soldier. You gotta know the area around the react number five reactor, right? So, let's hear your explanation. Wow. Okay. So, um, oh man, I'm gonna brag to everybody at work about this. Hmm, looks like you've already seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. There we go. That's odd, the ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Identified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A, type A security alert. Identified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Shit, someone blew it. Identified passengers located in car number one. Preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. I'm gonna... Okay, there we go. Lockdown, upgrading to level two warning. Hurry, they're locking the door, sir. Just run. Chasing the plan two. Huh, the hell? Yeah. There we go. Alright. Now we're just gonna... Let it kind of lock us down. We're gonna, uh, you know... We're gonna hop on off. And then we're gonna... Kind of go in the opposite direction of where we need to go. For, for a short time. Just kind of show you guys what is available. And then we'll get back on track. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. What? That's it? That didn't do anything. We'll jump from here. Follow me, you expensive leech. Be strong. Oh man, we were forced to get this far out. We can't just go back now. We gotta go on. Big Switch and Jesse did good. Now it's our turn. Reactor is just down this tunnel. Okay, so, um, so I the idea, if anybody's not aware, if you stay, you know, if you go through the cars, you know, uh, one after another, you get further down the tunnel, so you don't have to fight as many enemies. But I don't care about that. I want to find as many of them as I possibly can to get more experience and stuff. So. It's not going to be that much of a bother for me. So, obviously it's going to be a little bit boring for, for you guys, maybe. But, um, but first things first, I want to go back this way. Because I wanted to kind of show, you know, what happens when you go away from the objective.
See, these, these guys aren't really hurting all that much, so I'm not in any major danger. Plus, I got plenty of potions, so... If, so if I really need to, I can always, you know, grab a potion. So... You know, another thing is that, you know, I can always use the money, so... Because there's going to be points where I'm going to be like, hey, I need to... Um... I need to buy something, so, so for, you know, notice the two guards there, if I get close to them, sure, our security guards are there, we've got, got to turn back, nope, here, the avalanche, There we go. Now, I could stay here and keep on fighting them over and over and over again because, I mean, they're giving me some, you know, decent XP and AP, you know, for for the area. You know. But, obviously, that's, you know, we're not going to get anywhere fast. And they're going to keep on attacking us over and over and over again here. So... More security incoming, it's dangerous to stay here. We can either stay here and get attacked again, or we run. So... Oof. That... That alarm was irritating on the ears as well, so... So... We'll proceed on. And obviously get into a lot of fights. But I mean, that's par for normal, right? There we go. See those those guards that I fought, you know, just a little bit ago, a bit ago were, you know, uh, a lot of XP, a lot of money, you know, a lot of AP. So it's like, you know, um. But obviously, they still hit pretty hard, so it would have gotten to a point where I would have ran out of mana, I would have ran out of, um, you know, you know, would have ran out of mana, would have ran out of HP, would have ran out of items, so, and I would have been you know, really in rough a uh, rough spot because there is no like save spot here or anything along those lines. So at least not at this time. So You know, thankfully these guys aren't really hitting like a Mack truck, but obviously, you know, builds up over time, right? So... Now, if anybody's like, 
you know, just so anybody's curious, I, I wanted to do that. Just so you're not like, wait, why did you run all the way? You know, that kind of thing. So, those light beams are the Schindler security sensors. We can't go any further. So, we're going to go right into this, um, into here. So, that's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we going to do? I mean, look inside is pointless. I mean, we still have to kind of go through, so. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Doesn't matter, man. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very tight. It's very tight quarters here. Okay. Now, one of the nice things about this particular game is that they didn't really put any, like, any, like, major secrets, you know. So, like, um, they didn't have, you know, that many spots where you could, you know, find a hidden wall or something along those lines. So, um, so more often than not, you know, uh, you dealt with, you know, what you saw, so. For the most part. Now, uh, you know, I, th you know, if I remember correctly, there are spots where it's like, you know, you have to like look behind a certain area to find items. Uh, they might hide items like behind, um, behind like rooms or doors or whatever, you know, kind of thing. So, so it doesn't hurt to try to explore the area. But, I mean, also, bear in mind that, you know, um, we have very limited, um, uh, items at this point, so. Cloud, this way, the reactor's up this ladder. I uh, don't necessarily want to go up that just yet, because I still have this ladder over here to go through. Bum, bum, bum. Into that tunnel. Okay. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. No, it's okay. It happens. I believe this way is down... Um... Yeah. So, you know, just to kind of show you all the routes 
And Jesse's not here anymore. <laughs> Potion, yay! So, multiple routes to get to the same location, but for the most part, it's like, nah. You know, a little bit of uh, story, uh, story content, but that's about it. We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Okay, Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. All right, see you later, Biggs. Okay, grab that. Save point. Oh okay. yeah. Um, I only have one tent right at this moment in time. And I really haven't gotten hurt all that much, to be honest. But, you know, the, um, the enemies that are coming up are going to be fairly strong. But, um, here's what I'm going to do. If I remember correctly, there is another save point later. So I'm going to save this tent for now. Um, so... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save it, though. Save early, save often. And... We're going to go ahead and... Uh, get into a battle. <laughs> Ooh, back attack. That's not great. That's gonna hurt. Boom. Okay. There we go. Dum bum ba dum. Nice. You know, nothing up here, so... Let's see, hold on a second. I'm trying to remember here. Um, A, B, and C. Hmm, okay. Um the um just trying to remember like, you know, uh was there anything that I might have been like missing out of these areas? But uh, doesn't look like it. You know, I wanted to check to make sure. So, um, okay, we don't need to worry about that part or anything along those lines. Okay. Uh, Right, okay. 
so you know we don't worry about going up the stairs because we need to blow up the reactor first so and you know these reactors are the same you know the layout's the same so you don't necessarily need to you're not gonna be like you know oh which way do I go no they're, they're the same you don't have to worry about it so yeah see there's another save right there but I know that we're not gonna get attacked yet so well by a boss anyway so I'm gonna skip that save and we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, move on to planting the bomb darkness man <laughs> there you go Flashback, Papa, Sephiroth, did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, Soldier, Maker Actors, Shinra. I hate them all. Tifa with Sephiroth, uh, Sephiroth's sword. You don't really see that. It'd be nice if they actually did, uh, you know, here's an idea for any artists that are out there. You know, you see Sephiroth with, you know, Sephiroth's sword, but I don't think I've seen many drawings of Tifa with Sephiroth's sword. I mean, can you imagine that kind of a getup? Matter of fact, I wonder, is there... I'm sure that someone's probably written, uh, uh, drew it. Uh, uh, let's see, images. Mm, I mean, there's the remake, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing any good artist drawings of it. Maybe something for later there, folks. You know, if anybody's watching that's an artist, maybe, you know, uh, here's some ideas for you in the future. You know, I know that you know, Tifa's a brawler. I get it. I get it. I understand. But, um, but how's this for an idea? You know, I, I'm seeing images of Tifa with like a cloud motif, but, you know, how about Tifa with a Sephiroth motif? You know, that kind of an idea. You know, set it up that way. Yes, you know, that would be that would be interesting, but yeah, not really seen too much. You know, obviously, I'm seeing a lot of you know drawings and and images from all the you know previous games and and the like, but I'm not really seeing much in terms of of you know what i'm kind of looking for for the most part so it's like okay well 
Yeah, I'm seeing Tifa with Cloud's weapons. Oh, there's a there's one that has a like a Tifa Sephiroth motif. Found one. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Sorry. Got got a little sidetracked there. Damn man, get a hold of yourself. You alright? Tifa. Hmm? No. Forget. Come on, let's hurry. Ah. Right. I know you're my chaperone, right? Damn straight. Tifa's old friend, that ain't good enough. <laughs> oh, thanks. Setting the bomb. There you go. Okay. Right. Now we'll go ahead and use the tent. There we go. And we'll save. There we go. Because I don't think there's any additional save points after this. So, just the boss battle. Alright, now it's time to leave the reactor, but obviously we can't go back the way we came, because that was a long slide down. So we have to go right back up the elevator. Switch on. Okay. Take that. Dead. Dead. Tentacle drain. Oh no! They're recovering six points of death and six points of health. And I am I going to be able to take you know to knock it out? Yes, <laughs> most definitely yes. Now this one's a little irritating, so because you have to hit it right at the right timing, and it's like, oh. Tristan said that we all have to push the button at once. No good. Let's try it again. Nope. No good. Let's try again. So no. Nope. One, two, nope, one, <sighs> one Mississippi, nope, 
One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Damn. One Mississippi, two. Ah, God damn it. One Mississippi, two. There we go. There was a save. Oops. Could have saved the tent for up here. Oh well. I can't remember everything about this game there folks. It's been a long time since I've you know, played it a lot, so... And even then, it is a very long game. There's a lot of story to it, so... So, you'd have to be... You know... You'd have to have a photographic memory to remember every single last little detail. Which, I, I can't do. <laughs> so... All right. But, you know, needless to say, the boss battle here isn't really that difficult, so... This way... Chair of soldiers. Shit. What the hell's going on? I trapped. President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be... What was it? Avalanche. And don't you forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? On time no see, sir. On time no see? Oh. You. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I need you be... I need you been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place going up with the big bang soon. Serves you all right. And such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you get. You can say vermin. Shinra is the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You're just beginning to bore me. You're, you're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department's created. Uh, our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future in future experiments. Techno soldier. The fact that they had a helicopter that can actually go th into and out of the reactor is just says a lot about you know how big the facility is, right? Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President. And off he goes. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Here he comes. Help, Cloud. This is from Soldier. Here we go there, folks. No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust him up.
love the uh, love the music on us. Counter attack. Program one operation. Big bomber. Counter attack. Rear gun. Big bomber. Beat rush. Counter attack. Oof. Big shot. Boom. Turn functional non operational counter attack. We're gone. All right. Let's see. There we go. That's it. You know, thankfully the bosses in this game aren't really that tough or don't take very long. <laughs> they definitely changed that in the remake, I must say. Titan Bingo. Awesome. Boom. It's gonna blow. Let's go, Tifa. Barrett, can you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? You worry about yourselves. I'm alright. Just, but take care of Tifa. Alright. Sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. There he goes. Dropped a lot. And yet still lived. <laughs> you alright? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello? Hello? Ugh. That would have killed anybody. <laughs> I don't care, you know, um, you know, or at least it would have killed anybody here on Earth. <laughs> you know, falling from that height to the ground. You know. Nah, man. <laughs> At the very least, you're like... You need medical attention, like, pronto. <laughs> the fact that you're... And th that cloud's getting up here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, not from Earth. So... Um... You okay? 
This is church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. Came crashing down? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're lucky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, to be fair, um, you know, with FF7, you know, uh, soldier, um, they're, you know, I guess you might say that they are the, what you might say, like the super soldier, like if you think, um, Captain America, you know, similar style f for the most part. Flower bed, is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say, and they say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. So we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. You were selling flowers. <laughs> You're the slum drunk. <laughs> yeah, that that'll, that'll go over well with her. Now, obviously, if you are wanting to have more of a uh, relationship with Tifa, you know, you do your best not to be very friendly with uh, with her, so, but, obviously, oh, I'm so happy, thanks for buying, I'm buying my flowers, say, do you have any materia, yes, some, nowadays, you can find materia anywhere, but mine is special, it's good for absolutely nothing, <laughs> or so you think, Good for nothing. You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Here, I've got to check my flowers. It'll be just a minute. Okay. Let her kind of, you know, tend to her flowers a little bit. Obviously, there's nothing here um, to kind of gather at this point. So, um, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, and yeah, there wasn't really anything... Um, that was, you know, major prior to this, so, yeah. Wait a little while, and we'll, just a little longer. Oh, I didn't even mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... Eris. I'm Eris, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. Cloud. The name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever is needed. What's so funny? Why are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry, bad timing on my part. Cloud, 
Don't let it get to you. Eh? Hey there, pal. How you doing? Don't mind me. You sure? Hmm. Okay. Sick Todd, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then, get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little different. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. Exit is back there. Walking all over the flowers, how dare he? They were Mako eyes. Yeah, alright, come on, get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. They're ruined. You're going to catch holy hell. All right. Um, before we go too far, though, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we are set up here with Eris. There we go. Um, now... Yeah, there. Right. All right. So, ice and restore. And there's no other material, so... Um... Actually, hold on. Um... No, we, we already put on the Titan Bagel for her, so... And there's no other weapons, so... Yeah, we're good. I got... Because she's gonna be going through a lot of, um of her own fights, which we kind of need to put her through anyway, so. There they are, over there. Wow, that one. I know, looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Eris, this way. Alright, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. Attack, attack, attack! Ah! Eris! Think we killed them? They never should have fought us. Cloud, help! Damn. What's that? Uh, we're not gonna bother with the barrels, so... We're just gonna ha to tell her to fight them all, so... 
It's not like she's in any major danger, so. Now, of course, she's not really hitting that hard, but. Like I said, she really. There's really no major. And there's, there's no danger for her. You know, she lost seven hit points. <laughs> so. She's going to be fine. Alright. Okay. Let's see some bolts on these guys. There we go. I think in this particular case, I'm going to use some ice on them. Because... She's... Pretty damn awesome when it comes to magic, so... And those guys can get a little annoying. So, okay. So, normally you would be, like, pushing these barrels to kill off the soldiers, but doing so would just remove those soldiers, and she doesn't get any kind of, um... You know, she doesn't get any kind of experience. You know, there's no potential chance for getting some random drops in there. So... I think there's like one more attack that she has to kind of deal with. And then she's scot free. Ooh, excuse me. There she goes. There's this way. I don't think there was anything like hidden in here, if I remember correctly. Cloud, hurry. Um, let's see, hold on, let me, let me check. Um, yeah, nothing there. And, yeah, nothing there, okay. Out we go. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean that it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. 
spying, murderer, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier, but yet yeah, they're trying to kill her? No. <laughs> Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then, let's go. Wait, wait, I said. <laughs> Cloud being a speed demon. Puff wheeze. So, down. Don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Cloud, were you ever a soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's a sign of those that have been infused with Mako. A mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. Now one of the things that I didn't necessarily like them doing. Now I, you know, I've seen a little bit of the remake. So there was there's one part, you know, in the escape here where it kind of bugged me. Because, as you saw, Eris was fine for the most part. She was able to kind of go through all that junkyard, hopping and skipping and stuff like that, through through all that, you know. But in the remake, at the very end, you had, like, Cloud, you know, catch her. And it's like... I mean, you know, yes... You know, Cloud is technically the bodyguard, but I don't know. I, I kind of prefer, you know, this particular take in that, you know, you sell Eris as being, you know, kind of competent. You know, someone that could, you know, not necessarily, you know, has the endurance to be equal to a soldier, but yet still be able to handle herself for the most part. So... There's the outside. And, I mean, we can go back inside here. Oh, hello, children. Um, we're, um, taking care of the, um, flowers for the um, lady here. Is that okay? <laughs> no, it's not! Ah! I don't mind. Take good care of them. Yeah, sure. There isn't anything, like, major here, so... They're pretty. I'm gonna water them later. So... Combat! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no fire. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. There you go. It sure is taking a lot of beating, but, I mean, we still need to kind of get her to a higher level, so she gains more HP, as, you know, for every level that she gains, so, yeah, we're going to go this way into town and see if we can purchase some stuff. My guy's in pipe, a weird one, no matter what you ask him, he only answers, uh, or ah. Uh. You ever hear of Wall Market? Nope, not right at the moment. It's a market on the sums of Sector 6. They got everything you could ever want there. If you go, if you can get there, that is, the road's something else. Uh, you ever hear of Wall Market? Yeah! Oh yeah, then maybe I should have to pick up something. You have to then maybe, uh, let me let me read this properly there folks, apologies on that, then maybe I should have you pick something up for me next time you're there. Alright, uh, so in here, this guy is sick, he passed out nearby and someone must have helped him here. Uh, um, this is the one when you help him. Uh, um, listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Alright. I don't care if, you, if it's scrap metal or material, we can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good material here. Why don't you look it over? Alright, so we don't have fire yet. We have ice, we have lightning, and we have restore. So I'm gonna go and purchase one fire and go ahead and equip that. So there we go. Okay, what's this? Trade items. Okay. So, this is a good spot for us to kind of purchase a couple tents. Just to kind of have on hand. Hmm, everything President Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche, or whatever you call them. You can batter around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. So, who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. Glug, glug. Ow, no one will find it. Um, top drawer and the bottom one. Okay, so, the, you know you know how I was mentioning the fact that there are some points in the game where there is like a little hidden, um, you know, there's something hidden? Well, this little kid, if you search this particular drawer here, you know, he has a little bit of money, but it's better to leave, leave it there. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can potentially get something better later. 
if I remember correctly. Like he had, like he he's trying to save up for some material, if I'm not mistaken. And if you come back to that kid later, I think you can gain that material. Um, it's, like I said, it's been a while, so I'm not like a hundred percent sure. So, oh, not here, not yet. Alright. Toot toot. Next up, Megar, Megar. All passengers, any passengers getting off at Megar should please ring. You know, Megar is supposed to be sparkly and springy and sleeky. Oh yeah, someday I'm going there. Huh? You want weapons? That's too damn bad. I ain't got any, no weapons to sell you. And the reason is, the weapons store is over that way. And what are you? Taking care of yourself is the law of the slums, but to do that, first you need weapons, right? Alright, we don't want any grenades. That I I find them to be completely pointless. So, but we do need some titan bagels. So, uh, we already um, equipped one of them. So we just need three more for every, you know everybody else in the party. So there you go. Go ahead and equip. There we go. And of course, you know, we don't have any material to put in it for right now, but believe me, we will. We will. By the way, move. You want something? Move into a, into the store. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm heading back out because I wanted to see what was over here again. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, what a dry. You want to go to that store on Sector Six again? Yeah, I can't. Can't go through there, so. Alright. Back here. Now, thankfully, there's a couple items here. Ether. And the material. Cover. Which is like Not, not really the best when it comes to, uh, when it's like early game right at this moment in time, because it doesn't really provide you with a lot of, um, like major bonuses to, uh, in terms of survivability. But I mean, you're, you you want to try to make sure that there's survives as much as possible. So. So if you have to be the meat shield, then be the meat shield. Alright. Go ahead and save it. There we go. And inside we go. I'm home, Mom. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So what are you gonna do now? Sector 7 far from here? I wanna go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Well, I mean, if I had more, if I had more chatters, I'd be like putting up a poll, you know, who should I go for? Should I go for Tifa? Should I go for Ares? And no spoilers from anybody that, you know, knows the game. 
I know what happens, so you don't have to say anything. But you know, don't don't say anything in the comments, okay, or in the chat. Um, because if someone's never seen this game before and they're watching me for some reason instead of playing the game themselves, then um, don't spoil it for them, okay? Um, because you never know, okay? Some people might not know the story of FF7 at all. So, um, it's not exactly... I mean, it was obviously very popular back in the day, but now... Not so much. So, you know, some people might not be aware. I mean, hell, I just watched someone that never even played the game react to um, the Sephiroth's theme song, you know, One Winged Angel. So, um, so yeah, you know, no spoilers. Hmm. But... Yeah, I think I'll go with uh, Eris. Hehehe. <laughs> you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl? A girl? What do you mean by that? Expect me to sit, uh, sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. My dear. <sighs> I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Eris, please go make the bed. Alright. That glow in your eyes, you're from Soldier, right? Yeah, or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but... Could you please leave here tonight without telling Eris? The last thing Eris needs is to get hurt again. You need to go t through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Cloud? Good night. Oh, man. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Seem pretty tired. I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh, yeah. Ever since then. Flashback. I how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I feel a lot better if you just settle down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that will take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Oh. 
Received potion. That's what I was after. Received phoenix down. Alright, so this one... This part's a little problematic. Because... Um, you don't really see where the... Um, the wood planks are. So, like, for example... Oh, hold on. There it is. Cloud, I thought the Turks came back. Get some rest. So it kind of resets on you. So you have to, you know, be careful with where you, where you walk. So. Can't get the cut this time. There he goes. And nothing else there, so we're going to save it. And I mean, not that much of a time difference, but still. All right, we got everything here, so we're. We're good to go, so... But, hello, Eris. <laughs> You're up bright and early. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? <laughs> you have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. See? Capable. Okay. I, you know, okay, hold on. I'm, I want to kind of, yeah, I figured my head is a little off here. Uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me rearrange my hat here. I'm looking a little off. <laughs> hold on. Be right back. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I was about to say that this particular area is, uh, I find to be pretty nice because um, it used to give a lot of... Um, you know, I used it for grinding, you know. Because there was uh, some enemies here that gave a lot of experience points and the like, so. But we won't necessarily bother with that for the time being. We'll just go ahead and move forward. So. This section got really lengthy, you know, and the remake. That's for damn sure.
<laughs> Bad. Sector 7 is in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright going home? Oh no. Whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? Isn't that a little out of your way? Yeah, I guess so. Can we take a break? I can't believe it's still here. Cloud, over here. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was... First class. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. Probably know him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Er Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa? That girl on the cart was Tifa? Or was she gone? She looked kind of odd. And the off air goes. I'll go alone, you go home. <laughs> I don't think there was anything in particular here. And of course, you can't go this way right at the moment, so... Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly... Um... Yeah, uh... Right. There's a sleeping boy in the house on... On the east side of the slums, he mentions a little secret drawer in his dresser that contains five gil. Whatever you do, don't take his money. Five gil is nothing to a warrior like you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got took care of those. Took care of that. Oh yeah, there's there's nothing here. Okay, just just double checking. The famous Wall Street. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So what have we got to? F so we've got to find Tifa fast. Hey, you two. Why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room. How about it? Nope. Don't need it. Hey, boy. You sure got a good-looking heifer here. There. Take her to Don's place and you'll make a mint. What a name. I, I just can't make up my mind. Hmm. Huh? About what? Hmm? Don't make me say it. It's the shop down on the right. Johnny. Man, should I go or not? I get so mental at times like this. I'm hopeless. Hey, aren't you? 
What? You mean you're two? You're two? Um, yeah, me too. You're a Tifa's childhood friend, and you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? What kind of guy are you? Uh, no way, I can't go on. Things aren't working out. Between our differences and my pay, it just isn't cutting it. What the hell? You shit, this ain't no fucking show. I'm busy right now. I'm feeling like there's going to be a fight. <laughs> Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? Uh, you know a girl named Tifa? Hey, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our nervous girl. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for new, uh, for all the new girls to be taken to Don Cornelio's uh, mansion. Don Cornelio is a famous mm, dilettante. Now he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. The Honey Bee Inn is a private club. Only members can go in. Shoo, shoo. Okay, I forget. Does he give him the card yet? Huh? About what? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Item shop, but he can't. He can't get this here because that <laughs> broken. At least for now. Are aren't cats great? This one's a little big, huh? Yep, just a little big. Whoa! Don't just stand there, say something. Alright, we got potion, phoenix down, antidote, echo screen, eye drop, hyper, tranquilizer, high potion, and tent. So I don't really need any of this right at this moment in time, so I'd uh, prefer keeping what money I have on me right now, so. Please come in. There's a free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Hey, boy. You sure got a good look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather talk to you. We're closed down. Okay. It's a little early to start eating. Come back in a bit. Alright. Um, we'll save it now. Let's see. We want that one saved. There we go. What should I do? Should I just buy it? Yes. Don't push, hooligan. Please take uh welcome. Please take your time. Welcome, sit wherever you like. Yeah, well, we're not gonna necessarily worry about too much here. Because obviously there's there's more to kind of do later. But, I just get the special. It's thanks to the Don that we can eat like this. Don't sneak up on me like that. And... Oh wait. Hmm. Um, 
I'm missing some people. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon today. There it is. Nope, don't need to sit. I'll worry about that later. All this trash, can't we do anything with it? All this belongs to the owner of the weapons shop. He keeps picking things up and saving them here. Oh, you mean the owner who has the tank in the shop? But any way you look at it, it's just trash. All this trash. Uh, yeah, okay. The gym. Join the club. Try it with us. Alright, one, two, three, squats are all on the rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. How's this? <laughs> oh dear, I've gained weight again. Ah. Man, times are bad. And then, hmm, hmm, oh really? Hey, could you do something for me? Someone's been in there all day and they're not coming out. I can't hold it anymore. I'm gonna have to hold it for a little bit longer, my friend. Yes, if you want to order, do it at the counter. Nope, not ordering anything, so we're good. Wait, I already... No, I have not visited the gun shop yet, so... There's the tank over there. Right. Um... I know that I'm going to be needing some money to, um, to kind of do some purchases around, um, around the marketplace. So I think I'm going to need to kind of go out and, um, raise some more money because obviously, you know, I want to get, you know, the, the you know, these two weapons. And, you know, two more Titan Bangles. Or actually, four Mithra Omelets, actually. So, so I need a lot of money right at the moment. So... Okay. There we go. And... That's a rod. And we don't have any other... pieces of armor. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the guard stick. We can get rid of the Titan Bangle because we actually don't need them right at the moment. The Iron Bangle we can get rid of. We can get rid of the, f the Bronze Bangle. Uh, I'm going to hold off on selling anything else, obviously. And right, so I'm shy on okay. 
cat. So here's the thing, um, now I have everything that I'm kind of looking for, you know, I got the mithril armorlets for everybody in the party, you know, the, or everybody that I have so far in the party, I should say, um, and I don't have Tifa or Barret, but at this moment in time, so I can't load them up with, you know, their weapons or, you know, their armor right at, the, right at this time, so obviously I need to just kind of hold on to those right but um i know that in this particular case i'm gonna need to be um putting some money towards uh what's coming up next um now if i'm not mistaken uh, i'm gonna need to make some purchases, which means I'm going to need to have some money on me to, um, to handle it all. So, Right, I need at least 210 gil for that spot. Um, I had to order something from the restaurant, so that's money there that I had to pay for. Um, and let's see. Was there anything else that I needed a certain amount of money for? Um, Yeah, I think I I need at least 210 uh, and a little bit more money for the restaurant. So so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and uh, head back out and we're gonna grind up some money. Oops, I didn't mean to just straight up attack. Oh well, kind of too late now. Mm. 
No. There we go. Save the limit bird for later. Okay, technically I have the money for... You know... You know, for the inn and the later purchase. But we may need a little bit more. So... There we go. Kill you up. Suicide drop. Healing wind. <coughs> Her limit break is just awesome. Not as effective as what it could be, but it makes them weak enough so that, you know, a single attack can kill off, kill them off, so. Getting close. Oh, uh, okay. Let me let me put it this way. I think I'd prefer to have, you know, after the 210. I think I'd prefer to have like the, uh, like around the thousand or so. to heal up Cloud there. I'm getting tired again. Wake up, wake up. Oof. Time to heal him up. Heal him up again. There we go.
Oh wait, I think I can automatically select it. So... Seeing that I'm kind of at the same kind of pace right at the moment. Just gonna go ahead and just use regular bolt. I got it dead. I got it dead. I realize I don't really want I don't really want to use my limit break nor magic right at this moment in time for cloud, so I'm just gonna let Eris do all the work. Here we go. No, I didn't want Braver. God damn it. Need to heal her up. I should have enough money now to cover everything that I really need to cover there. So, uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go ahead and uh, save it there. And to be honest, I think I'm going to... Uh, I can feel myself kind of getting a little tired there, folks. Uh, so, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it at this point. So, we're going to save... Everything that happens here at in Market Street for next time. So look forward to that. Um, because um, there a lot can happen here. Uh, so it is quite a amusing tale, to be sure. So. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of call it, um, I'm, I can feel myself kind of slipping, you know, getting a little drowsy for some reason. Uh, maybe I need to go get something to eat. <laughs> so, um, but that's where we're going to go ahead and end it for tonight. I know, uh, again, it's a little bit of a shorter stream again today. Um, but, um... You know, next week we're going to continue on with Final Fantasy VII, so feel free to stop on by uh, for the stream. Um, the next week is going to be um, a very, you know, like I said, it's going to be an interesting journey. So, um, you know, so feel free to stop on by. Um, feel free to chat with me at that particular moment in time. But that's where we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, 
you know, check out the description for all the links, social links, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, link to my uh, stream team robot. Um, you know, uh, Discord. You know, Twitter. You know, even though that's kind of being really a crappy platform now. Um, and, you know, other um, other things that I got there. So, you know, feel free to check it out. Um, but that's where we're going to go ahead and call it. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll catch you next time. But until then, take care. Have a good night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll catch you strangers next time.